Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and another video. So as you can see, it's going to be another what I eat in a day. But I am calorie counting, I'm eating in a calorie deficit. So yes, I've not done one of these videos in a while. So I thought, why not do one of these whilst I'm calorie counting again? So, excuse these eyelashes, I'm getting in fill very soon. Um, I am not going to go into too much detail into like my goals and stuff. I'm going to go more into that in another video. So everything you see is obviously personal to me. Everyone's calorie deficit is different. The way we eat is different. This is just what works for me. Now I've only just started calorie counting again. So I'm a bit like I need to find what works for me. Um, I think I'm going to start off on around 1,800 calories. Which might sound like a lot to you. But I'm very active, my job is active, I do around 20 to 25,000 steps a day. What else? Um, I train at the gym, do four weight, tra four weight training sessions per week at a minimum. Sometimes I'll do a fifth workout if I fancy it, but always four workouts, which I am ready for the gym right now. So I've got my squat ball for AC on. List 15 for 15% off if you want to save some money. So yes, let's head to the gym. It's a push day, chest, shoulders, triceps. And then we'll come home and have some lunch. In the gym sweaty mess but that was such a good workout finally got 20 kg dumbbell chest press yes I've been trying to do that for so long I mean I haven't actually like physically tried to do it I think I tried once weeks and weeks ago and I didn't get it and I was like oh, I'm so sad and I actually just got one rest on my own my boyfriend was spotting me then I've done the usual 14 kg so then 16 and 18 so we're getting stronger on the chest. <laughs> um, I think there was one exercise that I didn't record, which was shoulder press, but everything else was the full workout. So it's time to have a shower. Okay, everyone, so I'm now ready. I'm in a sports bar because, well, that's loud. Heat wave here in the UK, I'm absolutely boiling. It's like, I don't even know what the temperature is. But uh, we are now having food. It's quarter to one, I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna get my lunch ready now. So this is my meal prep. So this is a Cajun chicken, mixed vegetables and sweet potato mash. So I have brought this from a meal prep company, uh, local to me, so I do know all the calories, macros, everything like that. So I will put it on the screen as usual. And I'm very hungry, so I'm about to eat this now. for this food so obviously you don't need to stop looking at me when I'm recording <laughs> put that in <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you have to stare at me whilst I'm talking basically obviously you don't need to <laughs> you do not need to buy meal prep you can easily make this yourself at home but I'm just being lazy this week and they're so so tasty I mean juices juicy chicken just look at that Cue the montage of me eating. Oh 
I just wanted to come on here and have a quick chat basically if you're watching this video you're probably either trying to lose weight trying to figure out basically what eating a calorie deficit what to eat and stuff like that um i just want to say i've been in my fitness journey now for almost four years i've had ups and downs i've kind of fluctuated with weights i've gone through demotivated stages you know with not wanting to train this is just what happens trust the process stick to it i know that is so cheesy but it is so true now every time i have started calorie counting again and figured out what my calorie deficit is i have lost weight every single time i done a night week cut on my channel twice and i saw results massively with them um i am not calling what i'm doing now a cut i am just starting to track calories again and 100 percent it does help and i know it's not for everyone i'm not saying the only way to lose weight is track your calories um just for me personally it just works and yeah i'm just really excited to carry on with these sorts of videos so yeah if you do want to see more of them please do let me know because I really do enjoy making these kind of what I eat style vlogs. Ah, yes. Baking hot, it's 30 degrees. I need some water. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to head back upstairs now with the dog, figure out what I've had for dinner, get some water in me as I'm absolutely boiling, and I'll see you then. Okay, so it's now time for dinner. It's kind of early. It's like 5 p.m. And we're already having dinner, but we're just hungry today. So I'm going to do a recipe that I've done a few times before, but honestly, I've not done it for a while. I need some chicken. Preferably, I would use breast, but the breast is still frozen. So I'm just going to get the fillets and cut any fat off. Peppers. Oh, this is my pasta and I'm just going to grab all the herbs and spices now so basically I'm doing a chicken fajita pasta bake kind of just cook it in the pan but then bake it to finish it in the oven it is so quick and easy really really nice so I've just got some paprika garlic salt pepper and I've got some chicken seasoning. I thought I had a chicken fajita seasoning, but it's fine. I'm just gonna use what I've got. I've got the shake and grill and some crushed chilies, paprika, garlic, and chicken seasoning. So I'm just gonna mix that up, that will do. So to make it creamy, I'm just gonna use some of this reduced fat soft cheese. So here is all the ingredients. Let's start cooking. So whilst I'm waiting for everything to cook, I've got the peppers on the go, pasta's going to be boiling, I'll put the chicken in, I love to top mine with some spring onions, I love, love, love spring onions, so once it's all cooked, I've got all the cheese melted, I'll just top it with this, and it is delicious. So between two people I've got 60 grams of cheese, 80 grams of soft cheese to mix in, um, so I know the calories for everything, I've weighed out all my meat and yes everything's weighed, ready to go. just going to add a little bit of salsa I don't know if this is going to work but I'm just going to put a little bit on why not you know what I'll put it on the salad like not, not much 
and then we're going to top it with our spring onions. Here we have it, dinner tonight. So excited to eat this meal, it honestly looks delicious. it's now evening time it is 9 p.m. and I've got some snacks so a bowl of fruit just some berries strawberries raspberries blueberries and a mini twister because I'm sure I've already said five times it's absolutely boiling so this is definitely a go-to in this hot weather so quickly look at my macros I've absolutely smashed my protein goal which is really good 193 grams of protein I'll put it all on screen quite low on carbs which is fine I'm gonna moan about that so yeah just under all of my goals which is perfect um, like I said I'm kind of just getting back into the swings of things with tracking again if in a few weeks I'm not gonna load my calories we'll see I'll keep you updated on these sorts of videos so yes that is my full day of eating today I hope you enjoyed if you want to see more of these videos make sure to subscribe as I regularly make these sorts of what I eat in a day videos so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time Thank you.